Hello, family. It's Ariana, your Tarot Life Coach. I hope you guys are doing super awesome and great. And I'm getting my voice back, so I'm super, super excited, of course. And let me see if I can get a little brighter in here. Uh, I think it's a little better. Um, so, I wanted to tell you guys thank you for sticking with me while I was sick and putting up with all that coughing and sneezing and all kinds of yuckiness that was going on. But I want to jump into your read, guys. I'm super, super excited, so let me give out my little disclaimers. A, if you're easily offended by language, I may not be the channel for you. B, this is a general read, so apply it to whatever part of your life you would like to apply it to. Whether you're lucky in love or lucky in career, just go ahead and add that to um, use the information. I want you to start applying these cards to your position and then interpreting them for yourself. As I can tell you all day long what I think, but the truth is, it's your life, right? You have to learn to use your intuition. And that's part of the reason why we do these things is so that we can connect with each other. Okay, so we have the Carabs. We got our fam out here. We have the Carib of Arrows, which represents air. The Carib of Wands, my sexy legged friend, arr, representing fire. And the Carib of Cups, bringing on the love. And we have the Carib of Discs, keeping it real right here, making everything manifest. Okay, thank you, Sandra Tabitha Cicero, for the Babylonian Tarot. And also, we have our duck card. This is your animal for the week. This is your power animal, guys. And I don't know why you all must be in your element, is what I got to say, water signs. Because I keep getting these. And if you'd see the way I spread them out and the way I pray and the way I'm like, which card is it? And I'm over here and finally I pull it out and I'm like, all right, I don't even know what the duck is. So I had to research the duck. Because the only thing I could think of was Daffy Duck. <laughs> Donald Duck, <laughs> but I couldn't think of anything else. However, there's so much there's so much information to give you. I just can't wait anymore. So, are we ready? Your power animal this week is the duck. All right. So you need to pay attention to your surroundings because opportunity is all around. Explore your emotions with grace. Also, be very expressive. Speak your truth. Speak from your heart. Um, seeing through your emotions, making sure that you know you're being really connected. Then it's also about reconnecting with family. Remember in the cartoons, the mama duck gets in the water and the all little baby duckies go right after them? That's about being united, um, living in your moment, making sure that you're making the most of it, being very self-confident, communication, letting go of the things that need to be let go of, and embracing what needs to come in. Also, guys, you really like your space, so be aware of that. Decorate your space really nice. Make it home. Make it yours, okay? And... Um, be in the now and be in the moment. This is the part that for my lady ducks out there, quack, quack, I just have to let you guys know this because I just thought this was interesting when I was reading about the ducks. So basically, the female duck is um, a bit of a promiscuous lady and has no shame in her game. Basically, she is all great until she lays her eggs. So she might have a partner, but if she feels there is a better duck for her, she doesn't care. She will go get her duck. She will do the duck in front of the other duck and carry on with life. I found that very interesting. So quack, quack, female ducks. Point of this story is don't settle for what's in front of you because you never know if something's better. So always make sure that people meet your standards. All right, create a happy space. And let's see how this duck is going to help us get through the read. I'm like super excited and all I can think of, I don't know if y'all ever remember watching this, I remember watching um, Comic View growing up and they used to say, ah, shucky ducky. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of right now because I feel like your little ducky self have been getting it crazy over here. All right, so let's bless our cards together. St. Satil bless this deck. She is the Cancer for Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. September 19th through the 25th. All righty, let's see what we got going on. So this read is going to focus on your new adventure, okay? So what does your new adventure look like? Hot fire! Lord Jesus, I'm getting excited, okay? What do I need to let go of? Uh, six of disc energy inverted. What should I avoid? Two of disc inverted. And what leap of faith would I have to take? Bam! Okie dokie. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And the overall energy is the um, Three of Cups. Okay, guys, let's see how we're going to read this up and make us feel this week. All right, so your new adventure is going to look like hot fire, water signs, and possibly with a fire sign. 
So um, I'm getting a little bit of water and fire just right off the bat. But the King of Wands is a very interesting character. I like to say he is burning the candle at both ends also. So if this is a work situation and not a love situation, I want you to realize that you might be working a little bit too hard, okay? I don't really talk much about the King of Wands, so I'm going to give a little bit of a story. This is Nuska, okay? He's the wise prince, the flame of heaven. He whose clothing is splendor and the forceful fire god, the enlightener of darkness. So for some of you guys, y'all are just turning on the lights, like Nelly Furtado says, turn on the lights. Because it's time to turn on the lights. It's time to see things clearly. It's time to move in a different space and with a different energy. Okay? So, um, Nuska, he's coming out the smoke of incense. And he's got his oil lamps. And I call them candles. I don't know. And, you know, he's just showing you the brightness that he has, you know. And what he would do is he would get rid of all the darkness. And he'd bring in all the light. So I kind of feel for some of you guys, you're, you're getting into a situation that you're like seeing things for the first time. And maybe that's why the duck is telling you, pay close attention to your surroundings. Make sure that someone's not pulling the wool over your eyes. I already see four different stories that's going on right now. So now what do you need to let go of is a six of dismentality. Either you're relying too strongly on somebody's assistance and possibly an earth sign's assistance. And I say that just because I see a lot of earth. Because of the disc and then because of El Diablo over here. Uh, Lamatsu. Looking all sexy. All right. So um, basically you're either relying on somebody too much or they're relying on you too much. Or you want to help. But there's a little bit of strings attached to that help. Okay. So make sure that you're speaking from your heart and that you're being really honest and you're aware of what's going on. Okay. So what should you avoid? You should avoid this two of disc energy that's... Um, going on for some i always see the two of disc for me which makes no sense because some people are like where the hell do you get this but you see how it has like two little alien people and one's in the front and one's in the back and then you have like two wheels and they look totally different and they're on two different planes i always feel like you're trying to balance too many relationships at one time and it's it's going to end up blowing up in your face is what's going to happen um because two ain't always better than one, okay? It might be fun for the meanwhile, but it's not going to be fun for the whole time. So a lot of times when this comes out, it's pretending that everything is okay. It's not okay, all right? And some y'all are dealing with Capricorn energy really strong because this card is attributed to Capricorn and bam, there's Capricorn right there. So some of y'all might have this in your chart. Some of y'all might have this in, or just people around you. But you're not taking things seriously right now. You're balancing two different relationships. And what's going to happen is some of y'all are going to end up losing both of them or really losing the one that you wanted. And um, you're just scattering your energy too much. Okay, so be very careful with that. If you're working two jobs, you need to focus on the one that's really for you. It's because the two of discs is about balancing your energy. So just, just think about it. You're inverted. Boy, you can't balance nothing if you got everything going the other way. Look, just look at that duck eye. She's you know, looking at you with the side eye. Like, I'm telling you, if you don't stop, oh, shuck it, ducky. Something's going to happen. Okay, so the possible, your leap of faith that you have to take is, I think for some of y'all, and I know this is like a very general read, but for some of you, it's all about um, going and getting it. Go, 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 go. I don't know why I just want to say go, 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 go. But that's basically how I feel about it. Is that you have this um, desire. I would say animalistic desire because of the way she's being torn apart and the snakes. Okay. For some, this means that you are just, you know, enjoying yourself. And you're going to enjoy yourself um, in more ways than one. Because we have the Three of Cups also going on as the overall energy. So you might be overindulging in some vivations, you libations. You might be overindulging in some flirtations and then overindulging in some relationships or gambling or something. And, it, and okay, guys, the devil doesn't always have to be bad. You can be over analyzing situations, thinking things out too much, um, weighing your pros and cons too much. But it's whatever is obsessing you and keeping you tied to the situation is almost what you have to take a leap of faith about. So um, this Three of Cups energy, for me, this is like uh, you've been hitting the club too much maybe or you've been um, overdoing something, okay? Also, for some, you're a part of a three-party um, – you're the third-party lurker or you're the third-party peeper or you're just – 
you're just popping into a party and you didn't know you were that third party. Oh, or you knew and you just didn't care. Um, this is the loss of happiness, friendships, a lot of lust without love, exploitations of one's emotions. And I'm looking back at the duck and it was all about seeing through your emotions. So maybe you're expressing one emotion more to cover up another. Uh, maybe you've met somebody or you're starting this new relationship and you want to appear that uh, a different way than what you're really feeling. Either you're trying to appear detached and you really want to be attached or you're appearing like you're super attached and you really don't give a damn. So it's, it's in between the two of those. Um, is what I'm kind of picking up because everybody's going through something different. But that's what the Three of Cups represents. Self-indulgence and with the devil, bam, baby, that's overindulgence. And then I have two sixes. So you really need to trust your essence of who you are. It's almost like you've lost who you really are. So a little bit about the devil. Now, Lamatsu, y'all know he killed the babies. She killed the babies, right? So if you're birthing a dream, be careful because your behaviors might might kill that baby okay but it's about being tied to a situation obsession it's, it's a good time to ask for help the number 15 does not allow don't allow others to get close until that trust has been built okay and the six is telling me that it's time to change it is time to change because you may be a little bit off your course okay however this is um, reproduction this is sensuality sexuality material temptation deception illusion distorted thinking um, it's almost like you you don't want to admit to it. So let's look at this real quick. Let's kind of um, see what I get over here. So oops. if it's a work-related situation, I see that you're burning the candle at both ends because you're super excited about this job. Um, be careful about the people who want to help you. Don't lie and say everything is okay. And don't, don't be in disillusion about things. Be honest and real. Speak the truth. If not, you're going to have an overindulgence in work, okay? If this is love-related, you're starting off a really hot and passionate relationship. Um, you might think that you're helping by saying everything is okay and masking your emotions, which can lead to another relationship that pops up that can hurt you or you hurt them is what I'm picking up, okay? Ah! And for some, this is a family thing. You just, you know, a lot of family energy going on and there's someone in the family who needs the help and they've been taking too much of the help and you're telling them it's okay and you feel like you're tied to the situation and you've over given them money, okay? So this can just go so, so many different ways. Now, I did want to pull this one out for y'all. Um, basically, the, hunt, the hunter of death is telling you something's got to change. And I think that's whatever it is, is that leap of faith that needs to be taken with the devil, Okay. Like, either do it, do it, like, hello, oh, Cool J says, do it and you're doing it, doing it well, yeah. Or just don't do it. Stop, okay? This is like the end of a cycle. This is telling you restoration, change, awakening, breaking your old patterns, and recognizing the end of a phase, transformation. And, you know, guys, I think when it comes to transformation with this duck is, like, realizing you don't have to settle for something. You don't have to keep taking the same thing over and over, my female duckies and male duckies who are finding themselves in situations where the female ain't, it ain't really showing up and showing out, okay? Because it happens, ladies. Y'all ain't always got it together either, okay? So, water signs. This is where you have to tap into your intuition. And I want you to think about this, the duck, okay? The duck knows when to fly south for the winter. So the duck knows when it's time to go. The duck knows when, it, when to sit and chill on the water and when to get the hell out because a storm is coming. So you need to trust your animal-like instincts that you're feeling in this situation to get you through your new adventure. I hope that makes some sense. I don't know if it does or doesn't. I think it does, but I'm not... I'm not a um, water sign. <laughs> I don't have any water in me. Mm, I wish I did because I really like the duck. I can't wait till I get the duck. Mm. <laughs> All right. Let's see what your oracle card is for the week. I'm trying to make sure there's nothing to clarify. You know what? But I want to clarify something. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to clarify the fire energy. This new adventure will look like hot fire. What is it? All right. An offer will be made, but you're still not sure about it, okay? You're not sure if you want to take it. I would take it because it's something that's going gonna, gonna to light a fire under your feet or under your, under your ass, however you want to take it. What do you need to let go is of the assistance, okay, this help. 
And then you're saying everything's okay. You're balancing two different relationships. And I'd like to see what this two disc energy has for us. It's just time to go. You will overcome, but you need to make a decision. You see how that chariot is facing the opposite way from the devil? So what you should avoid is trying to balance too much. And you need to stop trying to control too much. You need to let things happen the way that they're going to happen. You need to ride the wave. You need to let things go. The chariot is about victory. It's also attributed, I think that's Pisces on the bottom. I can't tell. Um, it's, it's just, it's that energy that you need to allow things to happen. And I don't feel like you are almost like you're trying to control things too much by masking emotions. And that's not really the best thing to do is to mask your, it's attributed to cancer. Sorry, this is cancer. So maybe cancer is the one who is balancing, um, the two relationships and doesn't really know how to do this, but this is conquest. This is victory. Like you're going to master the opposing forces. There's movement, there's travel. You're going to get up and go, whatever it is. You're going to be like, one of these aren't for me. You've made this offer, but I chose to go this way and I'm going to let this devil go and I'm going to stop being a third party or I'm going to, you know, whatever it is you decide to do. All right. So I hope that clarified a little bit more. Let's see what the Oracle card has for you. Ah, 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 ah. Sacred Mountain. Look how much those colors are very similar. I, I, I always find it interesting when I look at colors. Um, a lot of light, like earthiness is going on in your, in your read. Um, it's almost like you need to get a little bit more grounded in this situation. Get your head out the clouds. Get your head out of, um, <laughs> out of a lot of things that are going on. Because I feel like that fire energy has awakened your spirit. Sacred mountain. Be still and take the time to move into the silent place within yourself. Locate your internal source of power and meditate. Wait. Do not move forward until it feels right. Surrender to stillness and do not take action. If you observe rather than react, you reclaim your power. Okay. Move past the bustle and the clatter of life into sweet quietude. If you're in pain, don't lash out. That's like, don't do the devil, okay? Go into it until you find the source that it can be healed. Resist the temptation to indulge in feelings of stress, urgency, and emer emo emergency. Urgency. Good Lord Jesus, help me. Your power is born in silence, and the peace gives birth to your serenity. Seek solitude to listen to the voice of your higher self and awaken your inner wisdom. Okay? So... Get in touch with what it is you really want because I feel like whatever's going on with the six of disc is really what needs to be let go. Whether it's you're helping too much, you're putting too much into something and you're not getting a return or you're receiving too much help and that needs to die. Like that has to stop. And I find it very interesting. You have death and you have the devil. So it's, it's telling you, don't be you. It's time for transformation. It's time for change. And if you're the one that's in this relationship, or you're the one being done dirty, which whatever it is, if you're the third part in this, this duo, um, you need to say, I'll see you later. Uh, thank you for the time. I'm going to go be still and listen to my spirit guides a little bit more because nobody deserves to be the third party. Okay. So burning down the house with that fire energy, but you need to get a little grounded with that earth energy and really realize what you're doing with the devil. Okay. Embrace what's going on. Be aware of it. Be in the here and now so that you can move yourself forward. Water signs. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed your read and I hope you <laughs> enjoyed your power animal. I sure did. So big hugs and lots of love and thank you for joining me. Also, I wanted to let you guys know I'm still doing the Mercury Retrograde. It's still going on to the 22nd. I think I'm just going to rock it out probably for another two weeks because of that residual energy. And plus, you know guys, I just really like connecting with you and I also understand that sometimes paying um, $30, $40 for a read or, or more because I've heard some people charge more. It's just a lot, and um, I get it. I understand. I'm a working mom. I'm a single parent. You know, sometimes I'm like, oh, Lord, that's a lot of money. I can't do that. But I want to know. So um, that's why I do these specials, guys. So be, be patient with me. I'm going to get them out to you, and I'll keep it open a little bit longer for some of y'all who haven't had time to um, jump on it. Also, um, if you schedule a read with me, guys, and let's say you wanted it for... Tuesday, right? But you don't get paid till the next Friday or you don't get paid till the next day. And, and you know, as long as you let me know, like, hey, this is what's going on, especially if you're a regular client, 
just be, you know, just let me know what's up so I don't start overbooking myself like I have been lately. And um, people not answering the phone calls or then changing their minds and then I lose out on business or things like that. So um, you guys take care. Lots of love. Thank you for sticking it out with me. And y'all enjoy your week.